Hello, Royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of Royal News and Analysis. Before we move on to any further details, I'd really love to thank you all for your enormous love and support. And in case you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for, guys? Hit that subscribe button now, and don't forget to press that bell icon. So King Charles was surprised by Harry and Meghan's documentary trailer. The newly crowned king is trying to stop the Sussexes if they say anything bad about the British monarchy. In the trailer of Harry and Meghan's Netflix documentary, aptly named Harry and Meghan, the two talk about the royal family hierarchy and the troubles they face during their marriage with the tabloids, rumors, and their own family members. It's really hard to look back on it now and go, what on earth happened, Harry said in a voiceover. There's a hierarchy of the family. You know there's leaking. But there's also planting of stories. It's a dirty game, he said. The pain and suffering of women marrying into this institution, this feeding frenzy, as footage shows his mother, Princess Diana, and Kate Middleton being followed by paparazzi. Megan then says, I realized they're never going to protect you. Volume 1 of the documentary is set to release on December 8th, which is today. While Volume 2 of the documentary will be released the following week on December 15th, 2022. On the other side, Buckingham Palace has not yet issued a statement regarding the upcoming Netflix docuseries focused on the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Harry and Meghan. King Charles faces a stark choice, a royal commentator said ahead of the release of a six-episode Netflix documentary featuring Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. Asked which measures the monarch could take to defend the firm, potentially damaging claims made in Harry and Meghan, royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams told Express, although we don't know exactly what is in the docuseries, the trailer makes it clear it will contain attacks on the royal family and courtiers. The problem, after Meghan and Prince Harry's interview on Oprah, was how to respond. The dignified statement put out some recollections may vary, and this had the unique authority of the Queen behind it. However, the nearly 50 million have watched it and did the enormous damage to the monarchy, especially accusations about racism and mental health. Oprah memorably did not probe the Sussexes on their truth. The choice is stark. Doing nothing, a business-as-usual approach, is highly unsatisfactory. Yet, on no account could there be point-by-point -point rebuttal of allegations or legal action by the palace. This would turn it into a media circus. It would take an act of Parliament to remove Harry's dukedom, and he'd still be prince. Mr. Fitzwilliams believes the new sovereign faces drastic choice to shun his second son until the emergence of signs of a truce between the Sussexes and the firm. He said the most likely option is not to invite them to coronation until there was a sign that there could actually be reconciliation and ban all contact with them. This is drastic. King Charles is Harry's father. Prince William will want to protect his legacy. However, it is under threat, and there's no obvious response. So what do you guys think about this news? What do you think will be King Charles's response as the Sussexes' disgusting docuseries is released today? Write it down in the comment section below, and let me know what you think. Until then, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my Sizzling Royal updates, like this, subscribe, and press that bell icon. It's as simple as that. So until next time, hasta la vista.